Hello and welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith here with Amalia Smith, our camera operator for the night. Uh, thank you all for joining us uh, for this boys soccer game. This is the round of eight, the Elite Eight folks. Frontier Regional Red Hawks against the Azabit Valley Aztecs. Fifth seed against the 20th seed. It's going to be a great game and we are going to be right back with it in just a few moments. Welcome to Frontier Regional for tonight's game between the Aztecs of Azabet Valley and our own Frontier Red Hawks. Tonight, the starting lineup for the Aztecs, they would like to be announced as a whole team, so please welcome the Aztecs from Azabet Valley. And now, the starting lineup for our own Frontier Red Hawks. Number one, Owen Babb. Number six, Naewon Daytar. Number eight, Chun Min Song. Number nine, Brady Birch. Number 10, Devin Niles. Number 11, Matthew Seacard. Number 12, Jack Storm. Number 15, Fernando Saravia. Number 17, Chung Hee Song. Number 18, Aiden Valderrama. Number 19, David Gray. At this time... Hello and welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm your host for tonight, Mason Smith, up here in the Frontier Press Box with Amalia Smith, our camera operator for the night. Uh, this is the round of eight Frontier Red Hawks, they're the fifth seed, and the Azabit Aztecs are the 20th seed. They're facing off today at Frontier Regional High School. I mean, it's really cold. It's really, really cold. It's, let's, let's see how cold it is. It's in the 40s, I know that. It's, it's 44 degrees, and it's windy. It's really windy. You'll probably be able to hear on the microphone that it's very windy. So uh, let's just hope we don't lose any limbs up here. And uh, let's start the game. John, he's going to send it down the field looking for Niles or Fernando. Niles is going to get the ball from an Aztec defender. He's working his way into the corner. He's going to keep it inbounds. Nice play there. Sends it into the middle and it's going to get stopped by number three on the Aztecs. That was Henry Christensen. Um, Frontier with the throw in though. It's uh, to Brady Birch. Back to Fernando. Fernando tries a centering pass. Niles is there for it. He's going to try and kick it back to Birch. It's going to get to Fernando and sent down the field by Adolfo Calderon. It's going to get shot back by a Frontier defender. Fernando pass back to Chon Min. Tries to pass it to Birch and it's going to get sent out of bounds by Henry Gomez. Birch with the ball now off a throw in from Fernando. He makes a move into the middle and it's going to get sent up to the sideline by a defender. Taken by Chon Min who's going to get it back up to Brady Birch. Fernando tries a centering pass. Blocked. And it's going to be... Cleared out, but it's going. The pass is going to get intercepted by Chan He, who's going to find Valderrama on the sideline. He sends it in to the middle of the goalie box. Now Chan Min has it. Chan Min pass to the middle. Chan He makes a nice move, but he can't get around a swarm of Aztecs. And a whistle is going to be blown. It's going to be a free kick for the Aztecs, taken by number three Henry Christensen. 
a lot of early pressure on the Aztecs goalie, Fernando Rivera. There's the free kick right to Matt Seacard, who's going to head it forward. It's sent back to him by Calderon. Tron he fighting for it now. Pass up to number eight. He's going to make a nice move on Jack Storm. Centering pass. Tron he has it now for Frontier. Pass back to Daytar, and Daytar gets it through a couple forwards up to Brady Birch. Birch passes it to Fernando. Fernando working his way up the far sideline. He keeps it in and sends it down to the corner. Brady Birch is there. He slows it down a little bit, looking for a pass, and it's going to get intercepted by Christensen. And it's a throw-in for Frontier after it went out of bounds. Fernando takes it, throw-in to uh, Birch. Fernando passes to Niles, top of the goalie box. And his pass to Tron Min is going to get intercepted. Sent back to Daytar. Daytar finds Valderrama, who passes up to Niles. Niles makes a nice move in between two defenders. Shot on goal, off the crossbar! And there's a shot by Fernando, rolls into the ground, and it's going to get kicked out of bounds by Christensen. What a great shot by Niles. We are just a few minutes in this game, and Frontier has given themselves a lot of opportunities. Nothing comes out of that corner kick, which was taken by Devin Niles. And now number nine, Jordan Mitchell, is going to take the throw-in for the Aztecs. Jack Storm is going to get it. Tries to pass it up to Valderrama. It gets intercepted by... Valderrama with a throw-in, trying to get it to Brady Birch. Goes out. He's going to take another throw-in. And it goes back out of bounds again. <sighs> Change of pace for this game, which has been very fast so far. Pass into Devin Niles. It's going to get intercepted and sent way down the field. Matt Seacard's chasing it, and Owen Babb's going to pass it up to David Gray, who gets it to Chan Min. And Chan Min's going to get tripped. Good call there by the ref. So it's going to be a free kick for the Red Hawks taken by... Matt Seacard, it looks like. Do you see him right there? Number eight. There's a number eight. There's no one number eight on this roster. <sighs> David Gray. Pass to the top of the goalie box. Snyles is there. He's going to get held away from the ball. Niles with it now, trying to get it to Fernando. Gets around a couple of defenders, makes a nice move. Can't find a pass, though, and it's going to get sent up to number 20 for the Aztecs, who works his way back a little bit, tries to pass it up, but Jack Storm's right there, and he's going to find Valderrama on the near sideline. Valderrama's going to get pressure from number 8. And it's going to be a throw-in taken by Jack Storm. Sent down to Daytar by number 18 and out of bounds. Jack Storm with the ball for Frontier. Pass to Valderrama who's going to try and get it to Brady Birch. Chan Min does. Birch with it now. Tries to send it up the field. Fernando's there. He's going to get to it. Little stutter step. And pass back to Chan Min. Chan Min looking for a pass. He sees Valderrama across the field, and he's not going to get it to him. Juan Cardenas. Yeah, Cardenas is there, and he sends it into the frontier territory. Chan He with it now. Tries to pass it up to Niles. And it's going to go to Jordan Mitchell. Mitchell's going to kick it out of bounds and a throw in for Valderrama. Valderrama looking for someone. He finds Chan Min, who gets it back to Chan He. Chan He, pass to Brady Birch in the goalie box. He takes a shot and is in. First goal of the night for Frontier. And as always, it's their captain, Brady Birch. 
Seven minutes into the game. Seven minutes into the game, and Frontier's already ahead. A great shot by Brady Birch, assisted by Chan Hee Sun. So now it's going to be the Aztecs ball at midfield, and they're going to pass it back to Henry Gomez. Gomez sends it up, and Jack Storm's right there for it. He finds Valderrama, who slips and falls. Takes out another player with him. Goal scored by Brady Birch with the assist by Chun Hee Song. So here's Gomez with a free kick for the Aztecs. Sends it right to Valderrama, who gets a pass off to Chan Min. Chan Min sees Devin Niles. Niles tries to get it up to Birch, but it's sent right back down the field over the head of Matt Seacard. Number 20 for the Aztecs chasing it down. Then there's... 20 has it now, tries to pass it in, and Jack Storm is there to clear it out for Frontier. And Chan Min sends it even further down to Mitchell, no, not Mitchell, David DePaula. <laughs> Rivera with it now. Mitchell passes it up to number 22, who tries to pass it back. It's going to get intercepted by Chan He, and the ball finds its way to Devin Niles. Niles. Tries to pass it to Chan Min, it gets intercepted. 22 passes it up to 20, but it's going to get headed out by Matt Seacard. 22 with it now for the Aztecs. And it's going to get cleared out on the near sideline by Chan Min Sun. Number 20, that's uh, Gustavo Diaz. Seems to be the main forward for... The Aztecs. Centering pass from 18. I think that was. Yeah. Fernando with the ball now for Frontier. Tries to pass it up to Brady Birch and it's going to get sent down the sideline and out of bounds by DePaula. This is something we haven't really seen before in previous playoff games for Frontier. This is an extremely early lead that they've taken. And they're no doubt wondering a little how they're going to continue this game, how they're going to pace themselves. Especially with the last game, for most of it, it was a very close game, and they, the pacing was incredibly important in terms of, you know, when you take the lead, how do you continue play? How are you going to, are you going to keep speeding it up? Or are you going to take it slow, take the time off the clock? What kind of strategy does their coach want? But here's David Gray with it now for Frontier. Tries to pass it up to Brady Birch, but it goes out of bounds, so it's going to be a throw-in for the Aztecs. Knocked out of bounds by Fernando. Another throw-in for the Aztecs. I think that's... No, I can't see his number. Don't know who that is taking the throw-in. Goes out of bounds again, this time from the head of David Gray. I believe that's David Gray. Yeah. This time it's going to get over Gray's head and passed up to Fernando. But he can't keep it in bounds. Yet another throw in for the Aztecs. They're making slow progress up the far side of the field. Diaz gets the ball stolen from him. 
and Niles with it now after a pass from Tron Min. Valderrama sends the ball up to the middle of the field, gets between the legs of a defender, and Tron, he, before he can get his hands on it, it's going to go out of bounds. Sent out by Christensen. Throw in taken by Valderrama. D Niles with it now. And a foul called. Good call by the refs. There's Wilton Eschelbacher warming up on the sideline for the Aztecs. And there's the free kick sent down to the field. Headed by Fernando. Daytar tries to clear it out, but no one's there to help him out. Fernando gets the ball, pass to Chan Min. Chan Min cross the field to Valderrama, who tries to get it up to Chan He, but it's sent back down to number 22 by Mitchell and rolls out of bounds. Throw in for Jack Storm. Storm gets it over Valderrama's head. And a penalty called free kick for the Red Hawks. Looks like it's going to be taken by Daytar. So 27-15 left in the game. Or not in the game. What am I saying? 27-10 left in the half. And Frontier still up one to nothing. <sighs> And yet another thrown for the Aztecs. This time subs are going to come in. Here's Eschelbacher. He's going to come in for Juan Cardenas. Mitchell takes the throw in. It's headed to Devin Niles by Valderrama, I think it was. And Niles sends it down the field. It's going to get caught by Fernando Rivera. No doubt Valderrama was looking for Fernando on that play. Daytar receives Rivera's kick and sends it out of bounds just past midfield. <laughs> Niles gets the ball off of a throw in. Valderrama passes it up to him. Niles on the near sideline. Tries to pass it to Valderrama, but he moves away. And there's Eschelbacher. Passes up to 22. 22's got pressure from behind by Jack Storm, so he's going to pass it over to Henry Gomez. Gomez sends it down the field, and Seacard's going to head it out of danger. 22 gets it again. Centering pass over the head of Gustavo Diaz, and it's going to go out of bounds. So a goal kick for Owen Babb is first of the night. I don't think that Owen Babb has really touched the ball at all in this game so far. I mean, that's not saying too much since we're not even halfway through with the first half, but considering how much pressure Frontier's been able to put on Fernando Rivera you would expect that a team that's made it this far would be able to put that same amount of pressure on Bab. Ball goes out of bounds on Devin Niles. Throw in for David DePaula. Seacard sends it out of bounds. C card after a couple passes kicks it out of bounds again yet another throw in for the Aztecs and it's going to gain ground this time but it's going to be a frontier throw in as it goes out of bounds ball gets taken from Birch and sent out of bounds by DePaula 
another Frontier throw-in. Well, you know, folks, this has been quite a journey for the Aztecs, from what I hear. And, of course, they're the 20th-seeded team, and they're playing against the 5th-seeded team. And for those of you who don't know or haven't been tuning in too much to the state tournament, um, Azabid Valley beat the 4th-seeded Rockland uh, just last week, I think it was, 4-2, to two, which was a big upset. And so they really earned their place in this game and in this round of eight. So here's Fernando with the ball for Frontier. Chan Min passes it up, and it's going to go right to Fernando Rivera. Rivera takes his time with it. He's going to drop kick it way past midfield. And there's 22 for the Aztecs racing up the sideline. Slide tackle by Daytar is going to get the ball out of bounds, but it's going to be out on 22. Who I think, I'm pretty sure that's uh, Pedro Oliveira. It says 23 on the roster, but who knows. Bab with the goalie kick. Vonorama is going to head it out of bounds. So there's Jordan Mitchell for Asabit. Going to take the throw in on the near sideline just a little bit past midfield. Going to go right to Vonorama's head. He's going to get it to Daytar. Daytar is going to send it to about midfield. And Andrew Talkoff. Long pass goes right to Owen Babb, and Owen Babb is going to send it all the way downfield past David DePaula, and Devin Niles is going to be racing after the ball. He's on the far sideline now, but it's going to go out of bounds on DePaula, I believe, off on the Aztecs. So Fernando takes a throw in, throws it back to David Gray, Chan Min passed to Gray, Birch heads it back to Chan Min, Gray. Gray on the far sideline. Fernando makes a nice move. It's going to get stolen, but it goes out of bounds. And it's a free kick for Frontier just on the edge of the sideline on the far side of the field. This is dangerous territory for the Aztecs. Fernando is going to be taking it. Fernando Saravia. Two-man wall for the Aztecs. Fernando takes the kick, and it goes right through a couple. I think that went right in between the heads of Brady Birch and Matt Seacard, who both jumped up to try and head it into a goal. So the ball rolls out of bounds. Goal kick for Rivera. <sighs> Line drive of a kick right to Valderrama. He's going to try and pass it up to Birch. But Olivier is going to have it now. Fernando with the ball for Frontier. Makes a move around. Two defenders. Nice footwork there. He sees Brady Birch on the other side of the field, top of the goalie box. Birch makes a couple of nice moves. He's looking for a pass. Is he going to get a shot off? No, he's going to pass it back to Fernando, who's going to toss it in the middle. And Niles heads it up and over the goal. Nico Fasulo is going to sub in as Devin Niles checks out. And we are about halfway through this first half, folks. The wind has stopped blowing, which is good for the two of us up here in the press box. Uh, but I still can't feel my feet. So we'll, we'll keep you updated on whether or not uh, we are still alive. You'll probably be able to tell. But anyway, here's Eschelbacher. Pass back. Some great pressure by Fasulo. Little miscommunication 
by the defenders, but Daytar ends up with the ball, tries to pass it up to Chan He. It's going to get intercepted. Chan Min ends up with it, and he's going to try and find Valderrama down the field. Ball gets sent back. Chan He with it now. Nice move around two defenders. Passes it up. Is it going to roll out of bounds? And right as it rolls out of bounds, Fernando kicks it back in. But it's going to be goal kick for Rivera. 18-20 left in the half. Frontier still up one to nothing. And Frontier still putting pressure on Rivera. As Mitchell's going to take another throw in for the Aztecs. Throwing gets over Valderrama's head to Oliveira. And there's Brandon Mahaya with the ball now. Makes a nice move, trying to get around Matt Seacard. He does. Jack Storm on him now. And they're both going to fall down. Looks like there was a shove by one of them, but it's going to go out of bounds. So goal kick, I assume. Throwing bam, yep. And I've just realized that there's two people with the last name Oliviera. So that's an interesting predicament for me. Uh, we're just going to call 22 Pedro. My friend Pedro. Never met him before, but he seems like a nice guy. Pedro seems like a nice name. Friendly name. Seems like you could just walk up to him on the street. Just say, hey, Pedro, how's it going? And he'd say, it's pretty good, man. It's been good. How about you? I like Pedro. Here's Valderrama with the ball now after a nice pass up. Shot is going to go wide. And a nice attempt by Brady Birch to keep it in bounds as he slides out. That's one of the great things about Frontier, even though they've taken this very early lead. Um, they are still just unrelenting in their assault against the goalie box. So here's Jack Storm with a throw in. Gets it to Chan Min, who makes a nice pass back to Chan He. Birch with it now. Back to Chan Min. Chan Min up to Brady Birch. Birch back to David Gray. Gray finds Fernando on the far sideline. And the pass is going to get intercepted and sent back to Daytar. Daytar's going up the field, finds Fasulo. Fasulo tries to make a move around Mitchell. Or that was Gomez, rather. And it's going to get sent out of bounds by Eschelbacher. Throw in by Storm to Valderrama. And that was about the clearest shove I think I've ever seen in a soccer game by Henry Gomez. So a free kick for Frontier. Going to be taken by Daytar. A little bit past the midfield mark. Strong kick. Knocked down by Chan Min. And David Gray's going to end up with it. Pass to the middle. Tries to get it to Fasulo, but it's headed up to Pedro. David Gray, slide tackle, goes out of bounds. There's Juan Cardenas coming back in for Eshel Barker. Eshel, bleh, I just ate my own word. Eschelbacher. <laughs> Aztecs throwing. Goes out of bounds. Gray's going to take the throw in for Frontier. Header forward to Birch by Fernando, and the ball goes out of bounds. Rolled off of David DePaula. So Fernando takes it again, and it goes out again. Fernando's going to take. Another throw in. Finds Brady Birch. Chan Min with it now. 
Gray passes it up. Birch back to Gray. Gray to Tron Min. It's going to get by him. And Pedro ends up with it. Pedro tries to send it up down the field. And Tron He intercepts it. Gomez tries to pass it up to Mahaya. Mahaya down the far sideline. Centering pass gets intercepted by Gray. And Seacard clears it out to Fernando. Great defense by Frontier, as always. Frontier has an incredible defensive line back there. And a slide tackle by Christensen. Sends the ball out of bounds. Birch with the ball now for Frontier. Passes it up. Valderrama can't get to it fast enough, and it's going to go out of bounds. Birch and Valderrama, two of the more physical players on the team for Frontier, as we've seen in the past few games. <sighs> Coach Evan Horton has to be a little careful with them as to how many penalties are called on them. Here's a corner for Frontier. Oh my goodness! It's another goal for Brady Birch. Valderrama took the corner. Line drive straight to Brady Birch who hammers it home into the bottom corner of the net. So there's gonna be a timeout taken by the Aztecs, I don't doubt. And with 12.25 left to go in the half, we are going to take a quick break with them. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm still Mason Smith and I'm still very cold. Amalia is here too, she hasn't abandoned us. Uh, <laughs> so we've got 12.25 left in the half. And Frontier's up 2 to nothing after two goals by Brady Birch. And Acid Valley just took a timeout. The coach is probably none too happy with their level of play, especially after that incredible upset that they had last week against the fourth-seeded Rockland. Nice play there by Fernando Rivera. Came running up out of the towards the end of the goalie box to grab a ball. Fasula with it now. Passes it up the field trying to find Brady Birch, but it's going to get sent up to Pedro. He's going to try and find Mahaya. Pedro putting pressure on Daytar. He blocks a strong pass down the field by Jack Storm, but it's going to go out of bounds. Storm with a throw in now. Goes to Birch, who finds Niles. <sighs> Chan Min sends it down the field. Great pass to Fernando. And it's going to get. It's going to go out of bounds. Chan Min with a throw in. Ball goes out of bounds again, this time on Fernando. So it's going to be taken by the Aztecs. Mahaya. Ball gets stolen and sent down the field. Niles with it now. Nice move by Niles. Tries to pass it up to Birch. And a whistle blown. Free kick for Frontier. In a dangerous territory. Fairly close to the goal in the grand scheme of things. And Devin Niles, I think that is, is going to take it. Niles sends it in the goalie box. Sean Min heads it right into the arms of Fernando Rivera. Good save there by Rivera. And we're just under 10 minutes now in the first half of this Elite Eight game. 
Pedro tries to head it forward, but it's going to go to Fasulo. Pedro fights for it and is going to pass it. Doesn't get the pass off. John He swings in and gets it up to Niles. And Jordan Mitchell is going to get a throw in. Gets it up to Pedro Oliveira, who finds Mahaya on the near sideline. Mahaya works his way back. Pass over to Diaz. Seacard tries to clear it out. Chan He with it now. Diaz. The ball finds its way to Brady Birch, who tries to get it up to Niles. And a penalty called. So a free kick for the Aztecs will be taken by Christensen. 840 left in the half. Frontier up two to nothing. And there's a strong kick all the way to Mahaya, who's gonna keep it in bounds, trying to work his way around Jack Storm. And he's gonna pass it away to Gomez. Gomez pass up, gets intercepted by Daytar. Daytar finds his way to Brady Birch. Pass to Chan He up to Niles. Niles gets it past the defender, but it's gonna go out of bounds. Throwing for Niles, so he's gonna get it into Fasulo. And a whiffed kick by Fasulo is gonna go out of bounds. <sighs> Goal kick for Rivera. It's quite remarkable, really, how Owen Babb has just really not had to touch the ball at all in this game so far. There have only been at least one or two times where it's just even come, like, close to him. I mean, not knocking... Asabit Valley or anything. They've put pressure. They've put pressure on Owen Bab. They have. But they just haven't gotten to the point where they've gotten shots off where he has to actually make a save. He's had a couple goalie kicks here and there, but I don't think that he's actually really made, like, technically in the statistical sense, I don't think that he's made a save yet in this game. And that speaks volumes to Frontier's defensive line, which is has has been and is quite remarkable here's a throw in whistled off by the refs he lifted his foot up i guess there's jack storm with a throw in now gets it up to niles niles Gets his way past a couple defenders, tries to send it up, gets blocked, finds his way back to Niles, and he passes it, but it's behind Fasulo, so it goes out of bounds. And it, there's Mitchell for the throw-in. Gets it up to Diaz. Diaz on the near side. Finds Gomez. Daytar shoots it all the way down the field. And I, I'm not sure what kind of header that was. But Devin Niles ends up with it. Pass up to Fernando. Fernando has an opportunity here. He takes a shot and a nice save from Rivera. Bad clear. And another shot from Fernando goes wide and rolls out of bounds in the corner. It's not going to be a corner. It's going to be a throw-in for the Aztecs. A nice performance there from Rivera. And the throw-in from... Jordan Mitchell goes out of bounds. So Fasulo takes the throw in for Frontier. Gets it to Chan Min. Sorry, Chan He. But the Aztecs come up with the ball and send it down the field. It's out of bounds just a little bit before the midfield mark. Storm with the throw in. Gets it over the head of Fasulo. Daytar can't quite handle the ball. 
but he gets it up to Chan He. Ball's taken by Fasulo from the Aztecs. Fasulo pass up to no one in particular, and it's going to go right to Rivera. 4.33 in the half. And if you're the Aztecs, you want to come up with something here so you can feel at least somewhat confident in a comeback in the second half. Whistleblown. On Devin Niles. That's a good call. I was going to say if it's on the Aztecs, that was not. I didn't see what could have warranted something like that. But here's a free kick just before midfield. Sent all the way into the goalie box and out of bounds. Strong kick from Christensen, but not what they needed right now. Subs coming in. Andrew Talkoff and the other Oliveira whose first name I honestly have no idea how to say. So I'll just say Oliviera. Oliviera. Oh, my God, I can't even say his last name. The cold's getting to me. I'm going crazy. Owen Babb with the goalie kick now. Headed forward by Diaz. Daytar. Tron He tries to clear it out. He gets it to Fasulo on the near side. Fasulo pass up. But it's not going to get to Niles. Sent all the way back down. Jack Storm with it now. And he can't save it from going out of bounds. It's going to be out on him. Diaz throws it in to Mahaya. Mahaya. Jack Storm. Facing off. And Mahaya is going to get it in to the middle of the goalie box. And it's going to go right past their forward. You know, maybe the reason why... The Aztecs haven't been able to score is because they've only got two people in a forward position, it seems. I mean, they've got other people, like, up front. But when they actually, like, in that situation, it was Diaz, Avila, and Mahaya, and that was it. And Diaz was pretty far back after he had given Mahaya that pass. Fasulo shoved by Diaz. Couple fans screaming for a yellow card. Takes something a lot more than a shove to warrant a yellow card this early in the game. And we've hit two minutes left in the half, so the refs are going to keep a track of the half of the time. Oh my god. Daytar, free kick sent into the goalie box. Matt Seacard heads it toward Rivera and it goes out of bounds. <sighs> Rivera with the goalie kick now, with maybe the last opportunity for the Aztecs in this half. And Chan He gets it. Chan He racing down the middle of the field. Brady Birch slips and falls, but he gets a pass to Fernando. Fernando in the goalie box, shot on goal, and it hits off of the crossbar, stays in bounds. Fasulo with it now, and there's going to be a penalty called, I think, on the Aztecs, but oh my God, what a save by Rivera. Crossbar helped him out, but great shot by Fernando, tipped up by the hands of Rivera, and it just hit off of the crossbar. I thought that was in. Oh my god. Niles and Chan He in the corner to take the free kick. Basically a corner here. Sends it right to Rivera, and he's going to come up with the ball. Drop kick all the way to Mahaya. Gets past him, and Jack Storm sends it to midfield. And a pass up to Mahaya, who has a chance, and there's the goal that the Aztecs need. Owen Bab a little shaken up after that. But he gets right back up, which is good to see.
So it's Is it 2 one? It looks like Hmm. So it's two to one. Frontiers in the lead. Brandon Mia with the goal. And that's the half, folks. So the players are going to take a quick break, hopefully warm up. That's what we're going to try and do. And uh, we'll be uh, back with the second half of this game in just a few moments. You are watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm still Mason Smith. <sighs> Gotta catch my breath for a second. Um, I'm still Mason Smith. Molly is still here. We still have all of our limbs. So it's a good night. Also, Frontier's up 2-1 to one in this game. And Assabit Valley starts off the half with the ball, but not for long. Chan Min with the ball now for Frontier. Tries to get it over to Valderrama, and it goes out of bounds. So a throw in for the Aztecs taken by Jordan Mitchell. He's going to head it forward, try to get it to Brady Birch. Chan Min. And now here's number 14. That's Victor Avila. Fernando gets the ball for Frontier on the near sideline. Gets it up to Niles and it's going to get intercepted by that's David DePaula. Sent up the near side of the field by number 10 up to Avila. That's Mahaya, my bad. Um, so a throw in for Frontier as it went out of bounds. <sighs> Whistle blown. I think that was on Niles. As Andrew Talkoff kind of went flying when he tried to head the ball there. So a free kick. And it's going to go right into the hands of Owen Babb. Looks for someone to throw it to. Can't find anyone, so he just sends it down the field. Chan, he's there. Gets it to Valderrama. Valderrama, on the far side, tries to get it up to Birch. But it's going to get intercepted. Oliveira with it now. Pass back to Cardenas. Jack Storm sends it back down the field. Oliveira. And Brady Birch takes the ball away. Brady Birch for Frontier on the far sideline. And it goes out of bounds. He couldn't quite handle the ball. So Brady Birch has gotten both of the goals for Frontier in this game. Which is quite something for him. Although not unheard of in the least. Something that... I don't doubt is running through his mind is the two words hat trick. Especially as Frontier has been putting a lot of pressure on Fernando Rivera. Pass up. And Gray's there to clear it for Frontier, but it's going to go out of bounds on him, so. Talkoff is there to take the throw in. Avila had quite an opportunity there if he could only got, have gotten to the ball faster. So there's a throw in right into the middle of the goalie box. Chan Min's there trying to clear it out for Frontier. Avila with the ball now. Fernando fighting for it, and Fernando gets knocked down, and he kicks it out of bounds. Telkoff with a throw in again. Right to Avila, but it's going to roll by him. And goes out of bounds. 
So, goal kick for Owen Babb. No doubt a scary moment there for him. <sighs> Fernando able to keep it in bounds. Nice play there. He's going to get it back to David Gray, who tries to send back up to Fernando, but it's going to get intercepted by the Aztecs. A little pushing, a little shoving there, and Fernando fighting for the ball. It's going to go out on him, so Talakov's going to take the throw in again. And there's a sub coming in. A little bit of confusion, I think. Is there a sub coming in? I'm not sure. Oh, no, that's a free kick. It's not out of bounds. So, Henry Christensen taking the free kick for the Aztecs. Checking to make sure that Fernando is far enough away. Needs to move back a little bit. Christensen to even the score, sends it in the goalie box, and it goes right over the head of Gustavo Diaz. Owen Babb diving for it, but he couldn't quite grab it out of the air. He does get the ball for a goalie kick, though. And a couple subs are going to come in for the Aztecs, none of which I caught. That's my bad. Um... 34-18 left in the game. Frontier's still up by a goal. And now here's Brady Birch on the far sideline, tries to send it up down the field, and it's going to get tapped out of bounds by an Aztec defender. Birch takes the throw in, tries to find Sean Min on the top of the goalie box, and it's going to get cleared out by the Aztecs, Daytar with it now, sends it up the field, Fernando's there, can he stop before it goes out of bounds, he does, he keeps it in bounds, he's in the corner, and slide tackle by Tony Vega is going to send it out of bounds on the Aztecs, so Fernando takes a throw in for Frontier, finds Niles on the sideline, baseline, but it gets by him and goes out of bounds goal kick for Fernando Rivera. Nice touch by Ian Valderrama there. And it's sent down the field by the Aztecs. Daytar tries to clear it out. And the ball is going to find its way to Devin Niles, who sends it down the field. Fernando decides not to go after it. And ends up back in the hands of Rivera. Chan Min. Pass up on the far side to Valderrama. Valderrama down the field, trying to find Brady Birch. And Rivera is going to get to it right before he does. Brady Birch does a little hurdle over Rivera, who dives into the ground for that ball. There's a drop kick from Rivera straight to Mahaya. And a pass goes out of bounds on the Red Hawks. David DePaula with a throw in for the Aztecs. Fernando kicks it to Christensen. Fernando with it again. Pass in between two defenders to Brady Birch. Birch finds Valderrama. Valderrama makes a nice move. Gets it over to Chan He. Chan He to Chan Min. Chan Min whiffed pass there. But the ball finds its way to Chan He again. He's going to pass it up, leading Valderrama forward. Valderrama tries to get it to Birch a little bit too far ahead, and it's going to get cleared out by Christensen. 
Tron, he gets the ball, though, gets it to Tron Men. Fernando with it now. Fernando, nice move around a defender, and he's going to get sent to the ground. Whistleblown foul against, uh, that was number 16, Tony Vega. So a free kick going to be taken by Fernando. Here's the kick from Fernando. And Devin Niles puts it in after Rivera knocks it down. And it's 3-1 Frontier with 30-43 left in the game. Owen Babb runs all the way down the field to give Niles a hug. <laughs> So after a beautiful assist from Fernando, well, not really an assist, well, more as close as an, as close to an assist as we're going to get in this situation. Ball was tipped off of Rivera's hands, and Niles sent it into the top shelf of the goal. Brady Birch steals the ball. Fernando Saravia. Sorry, Devin Niles. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> and it's going to be another free kick for Frontier after someone slide tackled Brady Birch. So Fernando and Brady Birch line up next to the ball. Either one could take it. We've seen a couple of trick plays like this before. <laughs> Birch sends it in, and Niles misses the kick. Ball rolls out of bounds. 30 minutes left in the game and the Aztecs need to come up with something and they need to come up with something fast. Brady Birch hurdles through a couple defenders. He takes the ball away from another one but he can't keep it for quite long enough and it goes back out of bounds on the baseline. Another goal kick for Fernando Rivera. Brady Birch is all over the field tonight. And it is a nothing but help Frontier get to this 3-1 lead. Oh, it's a corner kick. Corner kick for Frontier, folks. Taken by Fernando. Fernando Savaria. Looking for a header. Sends it into the crowd. And it ends up in Valderrama's. He kicks it out of bounds. <laughs> Rivera, line drive down the field. And kicked out of bounds by Jack Storm, I believe. Throw by the Aztecs. Headed into center field by Oliviera. Pass up to Mahaya, but Daytar is there to clear it out, out of bounds. Whistle blown. Guess he lifted up his foot. Or no, there's a timeout called. Might have been, could be from either team at this point. But they're going to take a quick break. So will we. It's 3-1. to one. Frontier's on top. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Mason Smith, Malia Smith, 
It's really cold. Frontier's up three to one. 27 minutes left in the half. We just came back from a timeout that was taken by, I think, Assabet Valley. And here's Brady Birch again. He passes it to Devin Niles. Niles sends it across the field to Fernando. Gets by Fernando. He's not going to have an opportunity to take a shot. Nice fake there. He works his way into the corner. And it's sent out of bounds. Tipped out by, I think that was David DePaula. So Fernando's going to get another corner kick opportunity. Maybe it will be more successful than the last time. Owen Babb walking up to get a view. Jack Storm, the only player staying back for Frontier, just in case anything happens. Here's the kick from Fernando. Daytar. Sean Min with it now. Fernando sends it into the middle of the goalie box, and it's snagged out of the air by Rivera. Rivera waits a little, and there's the drop kick down past midfield. And David Gray is there to send it right back in his direction. But it's going to go out of bounds on the Aztecs. David Gray takes the throw in to Fernando. And it's sent down the field by number eight. Pedro. Pedro's pass intercepted by Chan Men, and he's going to shove him down to the ground. This is the second or third time Pedro Oliveira has been called for some kind of pushing penalty. And it's not helping his cause, I'll tell you that right now. And the scoreboard can tell you that. So free kick for Frontier going to be taken by Matt Seacard a little bit past midfield. He sends it down into the goalie box. Brady Birch tries to head it, but it goes the wrong way. And Fernando with it now. Shot on goal. And it goes off the post. Tipped, I think, by the left hand of Fernando Rivera. But it's a throw in for Frontier. Jack Storm tries to keep it in, but it's going to go out on number 21. That's Eduardo Rivera. Oh, there's two Riveras on this team. I just realized that. Uh, Daytar. Pass up to Chan He. Nice move there, but it's not going to go to who he wanted it to go to. Matt Seacard gets it. Pass up to Chan He. He's going to make a nice move. Try to get around his defender. Penalty called on someone. Looks like it's on the Aztecs. Daytar takes the free kick down the field. Brady Birch is there, and Devin Niles' shot is blocked off the back of David DePaula. Nice defensive play there, and it's going to get cleared out almost to midfield just for Gray Day to send it back to Brady Birch at the top of the goalie box. David Gray finds Fernando. Shot on goal goes wide. Subs coming in for the Aztecs. Adolfo Calderon and Gustavo Diaz. <laughs> I think that was Fernando's mom screaming at him, asking for a picture or something. That's sweet. Header by Chan He up to Devin Niles. Nice little scoop pass. And Rivera falls on top of it. Rivera sends it down the field. Mahaya's there, but no one else is. So Chan He's going to come up with it. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, Valderrama. Pass up to Niles and clear it out and out of bounds. Jack Storm throwing for Frontier. Gets it up to Niles. Niles across the field. He's going to find Fernando. Fernando is open and gets a shot, but it's blocked by Pedro Oliveira. 
David DePaula tries to send it down the field and he gets shoved by Fernando. So it's going to be a free kick for the Aztecs taken by Henry Christensen. Christensen down the sideline, back to Fernando. Pedro Oliveira up to Diaz. Diaz to Mahia. And Matt Seacard from behind Mahia sends it down the field. Shot right into Devin Niles' stomach. That's got to hurt. But here's Mahia with it again for the Aztecs. Mahia on the near sideline in the corner, sends it to the middle of the goalie box, and Daytar's there. Daytar's going to run it down the field and gets a pass up to Devin Niles. Niles, near sideline. Gets it over a couple defenders, and Fernando can't get to it fast enough, and it's gonna go out of bounds. Throwing for Frontier in the corner. Throwing gets to Brady Birch. Birch works his way back. Niles, Chan He can't handle it, and now it's the pass has gone to Olivia, Oliviera. Diaz gets it up to Mahaya. Mahaya, it's a 2v1. He's not going to win it. And Seacard, long shot from the corner, goes to Brady Birch. Passes it back to Chan Min. And the Aztecs have turned on the Jets as we enter the last 20 minutes of this game. Sean He gets the ball for Frontier and gets taken out by Henry Christensen. Nice slide tackle by Brady Birch. The ball is going to end up in Valderrama's possession who finds Devin Niles downfield. Nice pass by Devin Niles, but it's going to go right into the hands of Fernando Rivera. Drop kick from Rivera goes right to Daytar. Up to Chan He. Chan Min with it now. Pass back to Chan He. Chan He trying to find Valderrama on the far side. He does. Valderrama works his way in. Shot. Fernando open goal. <laughs> Fernando Savaria with Frontier's fourth goal of the night. And it's starting to look exactly like Frontier's game just a few days ago where they won 5-1 to one against Lynn Vocational Technical Institute. Because I can't just say Lynn. <laughs> Don't give me that look. So after a great assist from Aiden Valderrama, Fernando Savaria comes up with his, I believe, his first goal of the tournament. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure. Um, definitely his first goal of the game. So now we've got two goals from Brady Birch, um, one from Devin Niles, I think, and one from Fernando. Goal scored by Fernando Saravia with Niles the with the ball now. Crossfield pass to Fernando. Makes a move, but he can't quite handle the ball. This rolls out of bounds. Eighteen forty five left in the game as Aztec takes a throw in. Ball goes out of bounds on Fernando. Little ways down the field. David DePaula takes the throw in again. Fernando heads it right back to him and he sends it down the field to Mahaya. Mahaya on top of the goalie box, shot right at Owen Babb, and he knocks it right down. Good stop from Babb. Niles takes the ball from DePaula, but Christensen is there to shut down his play. He gets the throw in though. Finds Birch. Birch on the baseline.
And there's no penalty called as he gets taken out by Rivera. A necessary play by Rivera, I'd say, but I don't know about fair. So there's Christensen with the goal kick. Rivera is quite shaken up. Chan He with it now. Pass to Fasulo on the far side. Fasulo, who came in for Valderrama a few minutes ago. Ball gets sent out of bounds. Chan He throwing to the middle of the goalie box. And a pop fly goes out of bounds off of the foot of Jack Storm. That was a really loud breath. I'm really sorry. <laughs> John He tries to pass it up to Fasulo, but it trickles out of bounds. And he's going to throw it back this time to Jack Storm. Mahaya. Mahaya with it now against Chan Min. He's going to find Nobrega. Nobrega on the near side tries to pass it in to Diaz, but he cannot. And it's going to get cleared out of bounds by David Gray. Yes, I said that right. Nobrega. Nobrega takes the throw into Mahaya. Mahaya. His pass gets headed out to Fasulo by Daytar. Daytar passes it up. He's going to find Devin Niles. But Niles gets swarmed. And the ball goes out of bounds. Throwing from Chan He. It's going to go right back to Niles. And shot out of bounds by Jordan Mitchell. Free kick's going to be taken by Henry Gomez. Or, my bad, uh, Henry Christensen. And it seems like the wind started back up, which is not good for any of us. Nobrega on the near side sends it across the field. And a bad header is going to get the ball right into Owen Babs' hands as he hurls it down the field right to the feet of Nico Fasulo, who's going to thread the needle between two defenders. He's still going, and Brady Birch gets a pass from him, works his way around a couple defenders, and the Aztecs are finally going to clear it after a great offensive assault from the Red Hawks. David Gray gets a throw in. Chan Min. Cleared out by DePaula. Mahaya racing to it, but he's not going to be fast enough. Mahaya gets a throw in now. Whew. Right to Diaz. Diaz back to Mahaya. Number eight, Mahaya gets it into the center of the goalie box. And it can't, the clear out gets blocked. And now Fasulo's ended up with it, passed to Chan He. Chan He racing down the middle of the field. Looks like punches are being thrown from number 11. And Brady Birch is having a little talk with the referee. He doesn't seem too happy about what just happened. And I don't blame him. So yeah, there's a free kick for Frontier. Going to be taken by Matt Seacard. Just about center of the field. And uh, halfway between the midfield and top of the goalie box. Seacard with the kick. There it is. 
and a nice block by Rivera. Great save there. I thought for a moment that was going to go in right in the top corner. Drop kick from Rivera. Goes all the way to Jack Storm. And Diaz gets it. Pass up to Mahaya. Mahaya back to Diaz. They're in the goalie box now. And the shot on goal gets tipped, slows down, and Jack Storm ends up with it. Chan He. Fasulo gets tripped on the sideline. No whistle blown. And that's the whistle for the subs. I didn't lie. I think three or four subs came in for the Aztecs as we hit 11.45 left in the game. Frontier still up 4-1. to one. And with that big uh, wave of subs, it seems like the Aztecs may have thrown in the towel almost, putting in their second string players. Or it could very well be the opposite. They're putting in players for a last ditch effort better under circum certain circumstances. Goal kick from Owen Babb, gonna go right to the feet of Brady Birch, who sends it up the field and out of bounds. He was trying to get it to Nico Fasulo. One more sub for the Aztecs. Number 17, Jake Figuera. Figuera. I can't, I can't, I can't even say it. Figueredo, I think. I'm definitely saying it wrong. I'm really sorry, Jake, if you're watching this. Or Jake's family, if you're watching this. That made me feel even worse. Um, <sighs> Tron Min clears the ball out to Nico Fasulo. Fasulo threads the needle. He's working his way up to the center of the field. Sends it down. And are they going to let it roll out? Yep, they are. So, goal kick for Rivera with 10 minutes left. Chan He ends up with it. Pass to Fasulo. Fasulo up the field to Niles. He's going to keep it in. Makes a nice move. Centering pass gets blocked. Would have gone right to Birch. That would have given him a nice little hat trick. But it gets cleared out. And here's a corner for Frontier. Chan He sends it in. And it rolls right into the hands of Rivera. Nice defensive play right there by the Aztecs. Nice touch by Daytar. Pass up to Niles, who was trying to get it to Fasulo. He couldn't. Fernando ends up with the ball. Fernando looking for Birch. He gets it to him, but it's going to get taken. Little miscommunication here from the Aztecs. Birch ends up with it. Passes it to Chan He, center of the field. Shot on goal. Easily scooped up by Rivera. Long bomb downfield. Fielded by Daytar up to Chan He. Shot back down to Frontier's end. There's Nobrega. Pass up and it's cleared out by Matt Seacard. Ashwell Bacher's there, but Niles sends it down to Brady Birch. 
but Rivera gets to it first and clears it out. Chan Min, nice pass to Niles. Niles makes a pretty move, but he can't keep it in bounds. Probably thought he had a little bit more room than he did. 7.37 left in the game. Fernando steals the ball. He's got Niles to his left. I don't think he saw him. And his shot's blocked and it goes out of bounds. So another throw in for Frontier as two subs come in. Jesse Kirkalonis and Diego Frazier. They're going to come in for Devin Niles and Nico Fasulo. So here's Fernando with the throw in. Gets it up to Brady Birch. Birch can't quite keep it in bounds. And so it's going to be a goal kick. And they've also taken out Owen Babb. Instead, they've put Nico Lorantos in goal for a frontier. This is the first time that they've done this that I've seen, which, to be fair, I only started announcing their games uh, right towards the end of their season. But... Nico Lorantos, uh, who's a senior, and also, I happen to know, the senior class president at Frontier. So President Lorantos in goal for Frontier, and a pass back to Fernando Rivera for the Aztecs. John, he tries to field it. And a pass to Oliveira. He passes it back. Sent down the field. And Lorantos is there. Nice kick down the field. Looks like Birch is going to come up with it. And he does. Birch gets in front of the defenders. He's all alone. Is he going to get the hat trick? He does. Brady Birch, senior captain, gets his hat trick in the round of eight. And it's 5-1 to one Frontier, and it looks like, unless they get another goal, they're going to get the same score as last game, which would be quite something. <sighs> and we're just about to reach the five-minute mark left in this game which means that we won't be able to tell you how much time is left because the refs keep track of that here comes Fernando Birch Fernando all alone on the sideline shot goes wide and it's still in bounds Kirk Alonis comes up with it And it's cleared out all the way to Daytar. Sends it back down. Daytar with it again. Storm. Chan He makes a move. Can't get around the second defender. And now we're under five minutes. As Chanman passes it to Fernando. Fernando makes a nice move. Centering pass. Can't get it to Frazier. Little holding there from Nobrega. So it's going to be a free kick for Daytar. Well, something good about this game, just in general, is that we haven't had any cards, yellow or red, which is a lot better than what Frontier had last game. Or just what we had overall last game. <sighs> Drop kick by Ramirez. R what the? I am... I'm losing it, folks. I just said Ramirez instead of Rivera. All right. 
Uh, Diego Frazier, pass up to Kirk Alonis. And scooped up by Rivera. It's Rivera at the last second. He sends it down the field. Jack Storm's there. Nobrega couldn't get to it fast enough. Throwing for the Aztecs. Fernando fighting for it. And here's David Gray. He takes a throw in. Back to Matt Seacard. Seacard passes it up to Chan He. Chan He tries to get it to Frazier, but he couldn't handle it. And. Avila tried to get past Gray, but Gray clears it out. Nice pass up by Frazier, or Birch rather, to Frazier. <sighs> Rivera clears it out all the way to David Gray, who kicks it out of bounds. Throw in taken by Condenas. Or, no. Not Condenas. My bad. Avila. Again, can't get to it fast enough. Figueredo. To Avila. Back to Figueredo. Sends it into the middle of the goalie box. Shot on goal. And there's Laranto's first save of the night. And it's going to end up being a corner for uh, the Aztecs. Putting President Laurentos to the test over here. There's the corner. Headed out, but passed back in by the Aztecs. Shot goes way over the goal. Not through the uprights, I don't think, so it's not a field goal. That would have been nice. Bit disappointing there. But here's a goal kick for Lorantos. We're still under five minutes. Still don't know exactly how much is left. But I think we can safely put this one in the books at this point. What well, remains to be seen is if either team will come up with a last minute goal. The outcome is determined, just not quite the score just yet. Chan Min tries to get it to Fernando, it goes out of bounds. Figueredo up to Avila. Pass back. Chan He intercepts a pass. And there's the game. Frontier, same score, five to one. They're going to the state semifinals, folks. After a hat trick from their captain, Brady Birch. And Fernando, goal by Fernando, goal by Devin Niles. I'm pretty sure it was Devin Niles. Comes up to five. And they're going to be facing, I believe, South Hadley, who's the number one seed. So if and when we cover that, please be sure to tune in. It's sure to be a fantastic game. So once again, scores five to one. Incredible season for as a bit though after a remarkable upset against the four seeded Rockland last week gotta give him credit where credit's due but Frontier comes out on top 5-1 to one. they're gonna be playing South Hadley in the semifinals that's gonna do it for us tonight thankfully
because the wind has started up again, and I don't even want to know how cold it is. I've been Mason Smith, Amalia Smith, Kevin Murphy. You've been watching Frontier Community Access Television. Have a wonderful night. Yo, here we go. All right. Yo, yo. How's it going, guys? How are you guys feeling? Big win. Uh, yeah, that was, that was great. Yep, big, big game. I mean, uh, one, yeah. nothing to get excited about. We're uh, going against South Hadley next. Yeah, they're, they're, finished, a, you know. they're a better team, so yeah, can't yeah. get too excited now. <laughs> Bernie scored. scored. <laughs> Let's go. And uh, tomorrow, Brady Bird, you got a hat trick now. Yeah. That was pretty fantastic. Yeah, it was yeah. very cool. Yeah, yeah, it happens often. So it happens often. No, it does not. More than this game. He's but I assist him, though, so that's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, right, you, got you guys, you guys are feeling too confident in this match? Uh, we're feeling good. We, we want revenge again. We lost against them last game, so we want to go back at them and beat them this time. So it'll be a good game.